Hello everyone, welcome to Milo eLearning. Today we're going to be doing flow diagrams, tables and number sentences. And I'm going to show you how all three concepts are related to each other. How we can use flow diagrams to draw up tables and how we can use flow diagrams to write up number sentences. So let's start with the flow diagrams first. Now before we start with that, let's understand what the values mean. On the left hand side, we have the input. These are 5, 7, 9, 11, and 13 are basically the values of the input. In the center, minus 3 divided by 2 is the rule. And the output on the right hand side is basically the result of using the input and the rule together. So 5 minus 3 is 2, 2 divided by 2 is 1. 7 minus 3 is 4, 4 divided by 2 is 2, 9 minus 3 is 6, 6 divided by 2 is 3, 11 subtract 3 is 8, 8 divided by 2 is 4, and 13 subtract 3 is 10, 10 divided by 2 is 5. Now let's see how we can take these values, this table, and use this flow diagram and use it in a table. So the top row has the input values and the bottom row has the output values. And on top of the table, we write the rule. Then we take each input value and we use it with the rule to get the output. So we'll say 5 subtract 3 divided by 2 is 1. 7 subtract 3 is 4 divided by 2 is 8. 9 subtract 3 is 6 divided by 2 is 3. 11 subtract 3 divided by 2 is 4. And last one, the answer is 5. Now let's take the same things and use it in number sentences. So basically to write a number sentence using the flow diagram, we need the input, we need the rule, and we say is equal to the output. So let's look at the 5 in the input and the rule. The rule is minus 3 divided by 2. So we say 5 minus 3 divided by 2 is equal to 1. And we can do that same thing with the 7, the 9, 11. And we can say 11 minus 3 divided by 2 is 4. And 13 minus 3 divided by 2 is 5. So it's pretty easy and you can see how each are related to each other. How the flow diagrams, number sentences and tables all are the same things but written in different ways. Now let's look at this type of flow diagram where you are given certain values of the input and certain values in the output but you are missing certain numbers and you're missing part of the rule. And we need to investigate on how we're going to find out the missing rule. So what we do there is we look at the first two values of the input to try to find the rule. So we say 2 times 5 is 10. What can I, you're going to ask yourself, what can I do to the 10 so it must be equal to 12? So that's correct. You're going to add 2. Now, you can't just take it as a rule. You have to test it to see if it works out with the other parts of the other numbers. So we're going to say 4 times 5 is 20. Does What can I do to 20 to make it 22? You're going to add 2. So that is our missing rule. So now we said our missing rule is plus 2. Now we can do the same with the 6. We'll say 6 times 5 is 30 plus 2 is 32. Now, if we have the output, but we want to find the input, so we have to work in reverse. So we're going to say 42 subtract 2 is 40. Then we take the 40 and we divide it by 5 and we're going to get 8. Now we'll do the same thing with 52. 52 subtract 2 divided by 5 gives you an answer of 10. Now let's look at this in a number sentence. So we say 4 times 5 plus 2 is equal to 22. 
But now let's look at this number sentence in a slightly different way. Now we have a missing part of the rule but uh, in the number sentence. We have our total and we have certain numbers. So we're going to work in reverse. We're going to say 32 subtract 2 is equal to 30. 30 divided by 6 is equal to 5. So the missing part is 5. Let's try it again. So we're going to say 42 subtract 2 is 40. 40 divided by 8 is 5. And that's how we solve for the missing part. It's also this, you can use it in the introspective method in the number sentences that I taught you in the previous video as well. Now, let's look at how we're going to take this completed flow diagram and write it as a table. Now, we have certain input numbers and we have missing output numbers, but we have two output numbers and two missing input numbers. So we're going to write our rule at the top. So we're going to say five, 2 times 5 is 10 plus 2 is 12. 4 times 5 is 20 plus 2 is 22. 6 times 5 is 30 plus 2 is 32. Now we're going to do the, the reverse. We're going to use the inverse rule. So you're going to say 42 times subtract 2 is equal divided by 5 is equal to 8 and 52 subtract 2 divided by 5 is equal to 10 and that's how we use the inverse to find the answers i hope you liked my video don't forget to like and subscribe and drop me a note in the comments if you'd like me to do a specific section for you have a lovely day everyone bye bye